Okay, now we have seen how quantum mechanics was able to produce the results just as uh, what Bohr did. So they, uh, the quantum mechanical derivation and Bohr's derivation produce the same uh, minimum radius for the hydrogen atom. Okay, so now we we ask what is the minimum energy for the electron? Or we also ask what is its ground state energy? So we assign for the ground state n equals 1. So by assigning n equals 1, Bohr, the Bohr radius r n becomes 1 squared times a. So the Bohr radius is, uh, well, the minimum radius a. So r equals a. So if we take a look at our equation here, we can actually solve for the energy given that our radius is equal to A. Okay, so now uh, rewriting the energy, uh, or sorry, rewriting our equation with R equals A, we have H bar squared over 2M times 1 over a squared minus 2 over a times r. So r equals a, this will become a squared plus e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 over a equals minus e. So here we have 1 over a square uh, minus 2 times 1 over a square plus and I will multiply this by negative 1. So E now will be, uh, this will be 2 minus 1. So we will have sorry, this will be 1 minus 2. So this term will become minus h bar squared over 2m times 1 over a squared plus e squared over 4 by epsilon naught 1 over e. So now we will factor out a the sorry the a square for both terms. So we will get 1 over a square times minus h bar square over 2m plus squared over 4 by epsilon epsilon naught times a okay so first we simplify this term so this becomes e square over 4 pi epsilon naught times a so recall that a is four pi epsilon epsilon at h bar squared over e square m 
So we have 4 pi epsilon naught h bar square over e squared m. So this term cancels, this term cancel, this one, and we are left with h bar square over m. So this term is now h bar square over m. So we have here minus h bar squared over 2m plus h bar squared over m so e equals uh, simplifying this term we'll ha we have one minus one half plus one so we, we get one half this is positive h bar squared over 2m So now we have 1 over a squared. This is equal to e squared times m over 4 pi epsilon naught h bar square square times h bar square over 2m. Okay, so let's see what what terms will cancel out. We have uh, h bar square here. So let's just write. So e equals minus. So e squared becomes still square uh, it is included inside the inside the square m squared will be divided by m uh, h bar square will also be divided by h bar square square 4 pi epsilon not will not cancel out so it will be inside the square And what else? Okay, so this is what's inside our square. And outside the square, we have uh, m over 2 h bar square. So if you would recall, this is actually the ground state energy. So this is E of n equals 1 equal to minus 13.6. If you will simplify all the constants, minus 13.6 electron volts. So if we want to know the energies uh, above the ground state, we have E, e n to be equal to 1 over n square times E1. So there we have it. This is our quantized energies.